You are watching this video because your humidifier is uh, putting dust in the air from your tap water and you need to buy distilled water or find another source of free distilled water and I have a great idea for you. So the problem is when you put tap water in your humidifier, first of all, it's not recommended. Uh, it could put contaminants in the air and so but it's winter and the air is dry and you need humidity in your house. Humidity right now in my house was about 20%. That's causing sinus infections. So we need that uh, humidity in the house to be increased to a safe value. And I'm getting a lot of this dust and it's collecting all over the place in my house. And so I started buying distilled water um, and putting it in here and it's much better. I haven't done it on this one yet but I did on my other unit. So you need distilled water. So who wants to go to the store and buy boxes and boxes of distilled water? Wouldn't it be easier to use the tap water? But then you see this film in the air, this mist, this cloud, and that causes dust in your house. So what I have done is I've discovered that my furnace, when it's running, is dripping water into the into the sewer system your furnace does the same thing if you have a high efficiency furnace it has a good clean burn and that produces water condensation that is distilled water folks and so i'm collecting that i'll show you how i do that it's in my shop studio and uh it's a new furnace it's super efficient it's putting out tons of water i'm collecting about two to five gallons a day of nice fresh clean water it, it comes right out of the furnace so and as long as that line from your furnace where it collects to the bucket that you're collecting it in as long as it's all clean you can put clean distilled water right into your machine and then you can have no dust in your house from your humidifier let me take you out to the shop i'll show you what i mean come on puppies let's go out to the studio they love going out there we're going to go out to the studio and look at the furnace. So in my studio here, I have a high efficiency boiler. And it, as it runs, right now it's not running, but this bucket is since last night, a little bit dripped on the floor. I'm going to extend this hose actually. And you want to make sure that's a clean hose. You want to run some you know, some clean, cleaning fluid, cleaning solution through that. And you can easily disconnect. You don't want to talk to your furnace professionals before you do this, but this is how I do it. I can't guarantee that your system is clean. Mine is because I take some Clorox with bleach and run it through that tube as long as you have the right kind of material that can handle that kind of cleaning agent. It connects to your furnace. If you're lucky like me, you would have super easy access to this. Um, you might want to talk to your HVAC professional if you need it modified. You don't want to modify something like this yourself because you could ruin your boiler. But for me, it was dripping into this collection unit, which actually goes down through the plumbing and out of the house into the city sewer system. Why put nice clean water into the city sewer system? If I could collect this water in a nice clean bucket and go put it in my humidifier, it's a win-win situation because I'm putting that clean water, which dogs can drink too, but give it to them in their own bowl. Don't let them drink out of here and then put it in your humidifier because whatever you're putting in your humidifier, you're putting into the air and then, and then you're breathing it in. And you know these days, you want to be as healthy as possible and not introduce other toxins or agents, viral agents or bacterial agents to your body. So please read up on this. You know, I, just because I do it doesn't mean it's right for you. But, you know, buying a gallon jug of distilled water is kind of the same thing. If you open up that lid and you get a contaminant in there, or if you don't clean out your humidifier... You could get yourself sick so be very careful about this but i'm just showing you how to get a bucket of nice clean water 
and not be putting it down the city sewer system. There you have it from Frosty Life. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Give comments below to your experience of humidifying your house.